Hey everybody, it is Sunday. I'm back out in the shop for a little bit. Um, got a stain put on these yesterday. Probably shouldn't have done that because I need to put the frame together and I need to put some splines in it to strengthen it up a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. This is not supposed to be something fancy. It's gonna hang in the house. It's just something I'm gonna put on the walls out here in the garage. Uh, it was just a chance for me to make a frame, you know, and kind of get, to, it's been a long time since I've made one. And the last one that I made was that one up there, and um, I just want to, you know, kind of get the hang of it. It's just something to do to kill time. So I'm going to get it wiped down real good today. We'll get it put together, glued up, let it dry. Maybe I'll get some splines in it later today after the glue tacks. And other than that, I, I don't know what all I'm going to do. I'm just out here. I'm just goofing off. I don't have a plan. I'm just out of sorts, but uh, I'll keep you posted on whatever it is that I do in the shop. I got my frame and partial glue up. I glued two corners up. Uh, I'm being really, really careful to make sure the seams meet because of the, you know, the cutting I did and then the, the beveling on the bottom. So I want to make sure it meets on the top and bottom. So I glued this corner and that corner after it sets for about an hour. Let the glue really get uh, tacked up and dry. Uh, drier, not won't be fully cured, but then I'll come back and glue the other two corners. But I'm going to work on this. Somebody threw out a suggestion. I was thinking about this. And then I had a suggestion, and once I saw the suggestion, it was like, yep, that's that's definitely the way to go. But what I want to do is, you've got these epoxy bottles. I want to change this around to where the bottle's set in here this way. So what I'm going to do is take a little block of wood, and I've got a couple of them over here. Uh, it's a thicker block, and I'll drill a hole in it large enough to accommodate the cap. And I'll just, I'll just put that down on the bottom of here, so that way it keeps them perfectly straight, right? And then I've got enough room to put, well, let me put that epoxy bottle back in there, to put this between them. Okay? And if I scoot this over just a little bit, I've got enough room to put this between these, which means, um, and I don't need a brace in the middle. There'll be a brace there and then a piece of wood that comes across the top with holes drilled in it large enough to accommodate the bottles. And then this piece in the bottom with a couple of holes for these to drop into. So it keeps them up straight and they'll just sit like this. And I, the measurement that I was trying to explain was I got to have room to put the, uh, the piece of wood here for the side piece across, but I have to have enough of a gap between them. And really, you know, I guess I don't. Well, I guess I do, because otherwise when you pull one out, the other one would fall over. Uh, so you really do want some type of a, of a spacer between them. But I'm going to kind of fiddle with that a little bit today, just kind of improving my, my glue up um, container. So I'm pretty excited about the uh, opportunity to go ahead and make it better already um, beyond that I don't know what else I would do to it just yet but uh, one step at a time it's it's about incremental improvements I took about an hour hour and a half away from the shop today but before I did I had a chance to do this glue up and I am super excited about how it's working out check this out it's a little improvement I had made a note to do this and within an hour of making that note and I wish I could remember the person's name, sent me a note and said, hey, you ought to turn those bottles upside down. And I was like, great minds think alike. I just thought about that. So I had a time today and I had some, I had some of the scrap left that I cut off. Uh, it's nothing fancy. I don't intend for it to be fancy, but basically my epoxy will always be ready to use when it sets like that. Plus, it'll also keep the tips from clogging. If you, I found that if you keep it upside down and it keeps the epoxy in the tip, then the tip doesn't get that buildup and clog up. So that's another added benefit, but this is awesome. I love this little caddy and uh, I've used it several times. Absolutely love it, but that is an awesome little addition. Um, one thing I just saw that I forgot, notice how I rounded this corner. I forgot to round that one. So I'll probably will take everything out of there I'll run it over to the, the belt sander probably and just curve it over a little bit so I don't have that harsh edge. But other than that, I am stoked. I love it. I got to get uh, the other two corners of my frame glued up and then I'll continue to work on that for a little while today. I've got my frame fully glued up. It all seems to match nicely in the corners. I'm happy about that. Matches nicely on the bottom. I got the rabbit cut in there for, uh, you know, for the... Uh, uh, the pl plastic and the cardboard to lay in there to build the frame. It's uh, it's not fancy, but it's going to be nice. Uh, one thing I do want to do with it is I would like to put um, some splines in it, but I'm looking at it, trying to figure out how. They're going to have to be behind the frame on the, uh, uh, the chamfer or the 45 degree cut. I'm going to let it dry thoroughly and then I'll take a closer look at it because I don't want them to extend you know, up into the corner. I want them to be below there. 
So we're gonna have to just be really careful with that. And I will take one of those bars, and I forgot what it's called, um, but you rub it along the edge and it pushes the grain together. Because if you can look, the grain is really close, but there's just a little bit of a just a little bit of a lip there, and I can rub that bar on there, which in my case that will be a screwdriver, and we can round that over a little bit, and uh, it'll close those whatever tiny gaps there are. It'll close them up. But uh, that that deal right there, that sled does one heck of a job uh, when it comes to cutting angles. I've cut eight-sided frames before, and they fit together like just amazingly well. So we're gonna let that dry and see what other kind of trouble we can get into today. I've got the sheet of Lexan cut. It fits perfectly in the frame. I'm happy about that. I haven't taken the uh, protective cover off. I won't do that till the very end. I've got my glazer points. These are what you, you use your putty knife there. And they've got a little uh, lip on them. See that little lip? And you'll lay these on the uh, frame. I'll put a piece of cardboard behind it and you take the putty knife and you push it into the soft wood and this is what holds your your uh, frame and your backing in the uh, in the or holds your backing in the frame. So we'll work on that later. Um, I'm not going to get to this today. I've got to get a thin piece of cardboard. I thought I had some. I haven't found it yet, but I'm not done looking. Uh, once that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, get the uh, the cardboard cut to fit. I'll get the document I want to put in here cut to fit. Then I'll peel the protective layer off. We'll put the uh, Lexan in, the document, the cardboard, hit our glazer points, and then I'll use a couple little eyelets on either side and a wire to hang this. And uh, not sure where I'll put it. I don't know, maybe maybe up there. It's just something that I want to keep. It's a personal keepsake, right? Um, you know, so we'll find a good spot for it. And that is about it, guys. It is four o'clock. Six o'clock tonight, I'm recording an episode of You Made That. I'm glad to be back in the hot seat. Uh, I had to miss last week. I hated that. But, you know, sometimes we have to do what we have to do. Um, I am calling it quits. You guys have a wonderful evening. And I will talk to you again sometime. <laughs> I can't give you a day. Uh, hopefully sooner than later, but it will probably be a while before I'm back on the old YouTubes. I do have a video that I finished editing today, or actually I edited it while I was uh, out of town. I uploaded it today and uh, I just need to tweak it a tiny bit and I'm going to get that delivered uh, to you guys. So you will have a video coming up for me, but it's an older one. Um, I got another one in the can that I am editing. It's just not finished yet. When I get it finished, I'll get that uploaded for you guys. So there will be a little content coming out, but just very little. I will be back in touch. And as soon as things uh, get back to normal, I'll be back in the shop on a very regular basis. Have a great evening. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you again very, very soon.